Good morning, Lowell. Thank you very much for turning out this morning. Thank you very much for sending Nikki Songas to the Congress of the United States. Isn't she wonderful? Isn't she in the tradition of Edith Norris Rogers, a great champion for America's men and women in uniform? Nikki Songas, as a member of the Armed Services Committee, believes and acts upon that belief that in, in the military we leave no soldier behind on the battlefield. And when they come home, we leave no veteran behind. Jack, thank you very much, Nikki, for what you are doing, and also uh, to curb violence against women uh, in the military, sex, uh, sexual harassment in the military. And as such, such is now the necessity for women to demand the equal station to which they are entitled. 165 plus years ago, imagine that. Edith Norris Rogers is in that tradition, and that is what's so important about our being here. Uh, I want to thank Dr. Cowan, I want to thank uh, uh, Vice Chancellor Maloney uh, for putting us in perspective on how important education is to our women's agenda. Listen to women all around America to say what will unleash the power of women in the workplace. What will help you balance home and work. That was the big issue. One of the first places we went was under John Tierney's leadership to Beverly, Massachusetts. To Beverly, Massachusetts, where he had a pack to the doors crowd of, of, of members of the official family, as well as leaders and community groups, and women, just women, moms, single moms, and the rest, and helped us shape the three legs to the stool. Fair pay, whether it's raising minimum wage or paycheck fairness, paid sick leave, and child care. These three things. Now, I welcome uh, members of the official family who are here. We're so honored by your presence. And again, honored by each and every one of you. Is that the best thing that we can do now is to unleash the power of women in the home and in the workplace. We have some unfinished business from our uh, Seneca Falls four mothers and, and from uh, Edith Norris Rogers. We have some unfinished business, but it's only a decision for our country to make. Are we ready to make a decision to embrace the idea that when women succeed, America succeeds? Are we ready to have a national weaving of a strong moral fabric of family values, of family values, of a strong middle class, which is the backbone of our democracy? So, I think we are ready. <laughs> the fact is that the men and women work for first three months of the year for free because they only make 77 cents, 70 cents on the dollar of what they make. And if you have to get back to America, it's only like 60 to 40 cents of all the time. It's mandatory, it's 55 cents. We'll be working almost half the year for free uh, because of the disparity. Thank you. Got it.